hi sweeties how are you doing welcome to naya same if this is your first time of coming across this channel sweetheart kindly smash that subscribe button turn on the notification so you are notified each time i upload and please give this video a thumb up i appreciate you all so much and i am saying a very big shout out to every one of you for all the love and support you all give me here i am truly grateful thank you all so much so today we'll be talking something very important why people are running helter skater i have no idea why they are like you know running all over looking for a way to defend slavery and all that so it was actually um a comment he did a video on that but he felt like it was not enough right he also went to drop comments and he started by saying not one person was stolen from africa right he said that they did not steal anybody from Africa, that they were sold by their, by their own leaders. Don't respect if you are going to use this information, right? Whew, you don't even want to know what happened next. I love to see it when they dance around. You know, they have always been running away from this because they always bring it out. Each time there is anything that got to do with charter slavery and all that, they are always like, we did not steal you people. Your brothers, uh, they sold you people to us. And that was how this all this started and all that. And guess what? Woo! This video I am about to roll. You definitely will be happy after watching it. Just stay close to the screen and I'm just going to roll it. No more talking. We'll come back to talk about it. And I absolutely want to read all your comments. Let me know what you all think in the comment section. And straight up, I am rolling the clip. Did you know that the first people who were stolen from Africa and trafficked to British colonial America were... You mean sold. Sold from Africa. They weren't stolen. They were enslaved by their own people and sold. If you're going to race hustle, at least get that part right. Hey, good morning. You said not one person was stolen they were sold by their own leaders don't race bait if you're gonna use disinformation well brock childers 87 i can clearly see that your alabaster alabama education has failed you so come here real quick let's have a conversation first and foremost i'm gonna need you to stop lying you are far too old for that stop it Secondly, the lies you're telling were started by a racist cloister of Karens known as the United Daughters of Confederacy. Their job was to spread mis- and disinformation about slavery in the United States of America. They lied and rewrote history books, making sure that they favored the South and protected racists. You, racists, and many disinformed people say that nobody was stolen from Africa. While history says this, Sir Admiral John Hawkins hijacked a Portuguese slave ship and sold 300 Africans from it. And on his second trip, he captured 400 Africans. He didn't buy them, he didn't purchase them, and he didn't trade for them. He captured them. And when he finished, he wrote a book titled An Alliance to Raid for Slaves. And in this book, he tells the story of the very first Africans they captured, kidnapped, and stole. He writes in his book, I went myself, where we took 250 persons, men, women, and children. He said nothing about buying them, not purchasing them, not trading them. He said we took 250 people. And in total, there were 600 prisoners. And yet here you are just loud, proud, and wrong declaring that nobody was stolen. You then go on to say that they were sold by their own leaders, and that, too, is false. Africa has the highest form of genetic diversity on the planet. Before white people showed up, there was no, we are all Africans, we are all black. No, they were different ethnicities, much like you Europeans were. How you British were different from the Normans, who were different from the Irish, who were different from the Scots, who were different from the Celts, who were different from the French, who were different from the Germans, who were different from the Gauls. You see how that works? You see how different ethnicities work in Europe? It works the same way in Africa. It works the same way in Africa. And just like in Europe, White men were the ones who were fueling these conflicts between different ethnicities. So in warfare, when one kingdom conquers another, 
their prisoners of war were enslaved. These African kings didn't enslave their own people. They enslaved their enemies. You then go on to say, don't race bait if you're going to use this information. See, I don't think you understand what race baiting is, because if you did, you would know that your misinformation is intentionally encouraging racism or anger about issues relating to race. The lies that you and people like you tell prevent this nation from healing by stopping the truth from being told. You know people believe a lie faster than they believe the truth. I mean, you're a prime example, right? You then go on to say that they were promised land and a mule in 1865. And that's true. We were promised 40 acres and a mule. Did we get it? No. You want to know why? Because Andrew Johnson overturned the order in the fall of 1865. He gave all that land back to the racist, to the very people who declared war on the United States of America. You then go on to say that the first slaves to leave Africa to America was 1526. And that ain't true either. Because it was 1501 when Spain began trafficking enslaved Africans to the New World. You too old to be doing all that damn lying. It was 1526 when Spain landed in what would become the United States of America. Now, was I talking about Spain or Spanish colonies in that video? No, I was not. I was talking about Britain and British colonies around the world, specifically British colonial America. And I said that several times throughout the video and at least twice within the first 10 seconds. And as stated in the video, it was August 20th, 1619, when Africans first landed in British colonial America. It's clear that your UDC education hasn't taught you that America started out as colonies of Spain, France, England, and the Dutch. Those are four separate countries that colonized indigenous land. And each one of those colonies had a different slave policy. So when you said they never promised them anything, you're partially correct because Spain never promised their enslaved Africans anything. But Britain, however, Britain promised their indentured servants their freedom and land. And what was Point Comfort? It was a British colony. So am I saying that no Africans were ever bought and sold during the entirety of the transatlantic slave trade? No, that's stupid. We know that some were bought and sold. But for you to say that none were stolen, that is stupid. So why is that belief stupid? Because apologists for the African slave trade long argued that European traders did not enslave anyone. They simply purchased Africans who'd already been enslaved and otherwise would have been put to death. Thus, apologists like you, sir, claimed the slave trade actually saved lives. Such claims represent a gross distortion of the facts. Some independent slave merchants did, in fact, stage raids on unprotected African villages, as we have shown previously in the video, as well as kidnap and enslave Africans. And most professional slave traders, however, they set up bases along the West African coast where they could purchase slaves from Africans in exchange for firearms and other goods. But before the end of the 17th century, England, France, Denmark, Holland and Portugal had all established slave trading posts on the West African coast. And why they do that? Because of a little thing called supply and demand. You see, Europeans wanted everything that came from Africa, from the soil to the people, to the water, to the mineral, everything that came from Africa, Europeans wanted it. And all Africans wanted in exchange were weapons so that they could defend themselves from their enemies. And with European help, many African kingdoms were able to defend themselves against their enemies at the same time providing Europeans with slaves, with bodies, with human capital. So, the next time you decide to open your mouth on the internet, make sure your facts are straight. Because you don't need my help making you look stupid. Now have the day you were meant to have. I love to say it. When I say education is elevation, oh my goodness, you know, I love to say it. You know when there is um, just a little fight, just a little fight, 
someone who drew his AK. Oh my goodness, I absolutely enjoy this because really, you know, sometimes what you don't know, people can use it against you. I have heard so many of them, like several of them, always saying that they were sold. It's where your brothers were the ones that sold you. And they, you know, that man actually made this comment. I mean, he made a video, right, on this, and he felt like it was not okay. And he decided to also drop a comment. And that comment then got the response he was looking for because, you know, they have, uh, there was a video, I think you all saw that video. I already dropped that and how, like, you know, uh, people were stolen, the charter slavery and the rest of it, how they were all stolen from Africa back there. And the things they promised, the land and all that, that which they never gave to this very moment. So the man was ranting that, that uh, white people did not enslave anybody or did not, like, you know, steal anybody take anybody from africa that it was their brothers that sold them away and you know what it is absolutely amazing seeing this i mean hearing this listening to this watching it and learning from it i totally enjoyed it and i also hope you had a good time watching it this is where i am going to draw the cut in if you have something you want to please drop it in the comment section because I absolutely want to read all your comments as usual. See you all in my next video and bye for now.